hey guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel this is synthetic goddess if you're new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever i post any video so in this video i want to share with you uh, in depth of market structure everything you need to know about market structure uh, kindly watch this video till the end so that you don't get confused about anything because if you just stop at a part you can get confused and not know what to do and then it's going to alter the knowledge that you have so i would advise you stay to the end of this video so that you can understand everything about market structure i'm going to be using volatility 25 index I trade the synthetic market so if you would love to register with my broker where you can trade 24 hours and seven days check the description box so like i said we are going to be looking at market structure now a lot of things that we know or what we know basically is higher highs higher lows lower highs lower lows that is just an aspect of market structure it's an aspect of market structure you really need to know the in-depth you really need to know what market structure consists of so the higher highs the higher lows the lower highs the lower lows that is the way market moves but there are ways whereby the market moves that is it's it's same as higher highs higher lows but they there are names for it let me put it that way there are names for it so I'm going to be sharing with you those things here. So if you want to mark out your market structure and then you want it to, you want to understand the market structure perfectly, I would advise you start from the higher time frame. The higher time frame is going to give you uh, more in depth. The higher time frame is going to give you more information than the lower time frame. So if you want to mark out your market structure. I would advise you go to the higher time frame. So here I'm going to be using the daily time frame. So uh, the first thing you need to know about market structure is your structure range. What you need to know, the first thing you need to know is your structure range. From a swing point to another point. From a swing point to another particular point. That is how you recognize your structure range. That is the first thing I'm going to be talking about, your structure range. Now, talking about structure range, structure range is best identified on the higher time frame. If you go to the lower time frame to identify your structure range, you will get confused. So, before you do anything, identify your structure range from the higher time frame. So, on this daily time frame, I'm going to be identifying my uh, structure range. Now, from this eye... To this low where we had the break of structure, you can see we've been in a downtrend. Okay, we have series of lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. We've been having series of lower highs, lower lows, and we've been violating the lows. Clearly seen it from here. We've been violating the lows. The lows are being violated. You can see we violated this low. We broke it to the downside. We violated this low. We broke it to the downside. We violated this to the downside. We violated this to the downside. The highs are being kept. The highs are being kept. So, identifying your structure range, just mark it out from here. This is, so from here, from this eye to this low is what we call the structure range. This is what we call the structure range. That is from a swing point, from a swing point to another. Now, this is another structure range. So we have another structure. We have another structure range here. This is another structure range. This is another structure range from this high to this low. From this particular high to this low is a is a structure range this is a structure range now from this eye from this eye to this low is another structure range 
from this particular height to this low is another structure range okay this is a structure range now you need to be able to identify this clearly on the higher time frame identify your structure range on the higher time frame because on the lower time frame we have series of structure of which i'm going to be explaining here we have series of structure on the lower time frame and you can get it confused on the lower time frame if you don't mark out your uh, structure range on the higher time frame so for instance the last structure range that we have we have a structure range here the last structure range that we have is here this is our last this is our last structure range from this particular high from this eye to the break till this break of structure is our structure range this is our structure range this is the structure range the last structure range that we have so the second thing you need to identify when it comes to market structure is your internal structure your internal structure so what do we mean by internal structure these are structures that are formed inside the structure range now like i said you need to identify your structure range from the higher time frame so so that you can it's it's going to be very easy for you to identify your internal structure from maybe a lower time frame or even on that same time frame you'll be able to identify your internal structure now there are structures that are formed inside the structure range there are structures that are formed inside the structure range if you check it on the lower time frame you classify it as you classify it as a structure range so this is more of the reason i said you should identify your structure in your last structure range on the higher time frame so talking about internal structure there are structures that are formed inside the structure range so this is this is the uh, break of structure range this is the break of structure range now the structures that are formed from the beginning of that structure range before breaking the structure range note what i said before breaking the structure range that is our internal structure the structures that are formed from the beginning of the structure range to before we break the structure range that is our internal structure so let me explain it in detail now you can see we had series of this is a high this is a low a lower high a lower 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 low all of these structures all of this structure they are called mm -hmm. the internal structure from here from this eye high air uh, lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high so all of these are the internal structure you can see they formed before we had a break of our structure range they formed before we had a break of our structure range they are called the internal structure they are called the internal structure so if you go to the lower time frame now you will see it as main structure you will see it as main structure on the lower time frame you will see it as main structure and then you will be classifying it as the real structure meanwhile it is just an internal structure from the higher time frame now the third thing i'm going to explain now is the range structure we call it range structures there are structures that are formed outside structure range there are structures that are formed outside the structure range so here we have it we had the after we broke the structure range we had this eye we had a loom okay let me just go to the four hours time frame so that you can see what i am talking about all right so this is the four hours time frame and then it's going to be very clear from here we had this eye this is a lower high a lower low a lower high a lower low a lower high a lower low a lower high 
all of this starting from here is our range structure this is our range structure for the, the structures that are formed outside the break of structure outside the structure range break they are, they are called our range structure then the fourth one i'm going to explain is the minor structure minor structure when we talk about minor structure there are structures that are formed inside pullbacks there are structures that are formed inside pullbacks so this is a pullback here we are having a pullback to the upside here as you know we are in a downtrend so any pullback is going to be to the upside so we had this higher high higher low 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 all of this structure they are called the minor structure the reason they are called the minor structure is because if we have a violation of it it simply means we want to continue in the downtrend in our normal structure so if we have a violation of the minor structure if we have a violation of the minor structure it simply means the market is now ready to continue the major move so that is why we call it the minor structure and then we carefully mark out our minor structures we carefully mark it as because it's going to serve as the entry confirmation when we get to a p ho high so all of this all of this they are called the minor structure they are called minor structure now what is the importance of what is the importance of uh, internal structure range structure structure range and this minor structure i've given i've given the importance i've given explanation to the importance of minor structure like i said minor structure they are structure we are looking out for in the for the market to break so that we can continue our major move so that is the importance of that minor structure that is the importance of the minor structure you are looking out for it for the market to break it out so that you can continue the major structure then the importance of range structure the importance of range structure now the range structure on the lower time frame you are still going to see it as you will see it as main structure on the lower time frame whereas on the higher time frame it is a range structure and you can see none of this range structure entered entered fully it did not give us a good pullback yes the range structure did not give us a good pullback now the reason we need to identify the range structure is because when market takes it we won't classify it as a break of structure we won't classify range structure break as a break of structure when market takes it so if you check the one hard time frame when you have a break of range structure when you have a break of range structure on the one hard time frame or on lower time frame you won't classify that as your main break of structure to start looking for a buy you are only seeing it as a range structure break going back into our structure range to give us a good pull back so whenever we have a break of range structure that is not our major break of structure that is not our major break of structure it is just it's it, it actually just broke it so it can give us a good pull back then the importance of the internal structure now all of this internal structure we are expecting the market to come back into the internal structure to to um when market comes back to the internal structure we are expecting it to get into the internal structure so that it can continue the move we can validate the continuation of move okay now this is what i mean when market gives us a pullback we are expecting it in, inside any of the internal structure we are expecting the pullback to enter into any of the internal structure so that we can confirm if that is a good pullback so that we can confirm if that is a good pullback where market gives something like this just gives us a little high and did not enter into the internal structure then starts giving us a pullback to the downside again 
Now, we are expecting the market inside our internal structure to get into the internal structure. Most often, we don't use the range structure to continue a movement. We use the internal structure to continue a movement. So, when market comes back to the internal structure, we are expecting it to give us a break of the minor movement so that we can continue our move so when market comes back into the internal structure that is when we val validate if we are going to continue our move or we are not going to continue the move then for the structure range the importance of this structure range the importance of structure range is so that the importance of structure range is so that you can identify the current move of the market you can identify the story of the market. You can identify what the market is going to do. That is the importance of structure range. Okay, are we in a downtrend? Are we in an uptrend? That is what the structure range is going to do for you. Being able to identify your, uh, your move of the market, the move of the market, the move of the market. Now, you can also use the weekly time frame to identify your move in the markets now as you can see on this weekly time frame even the structure range that we marked out on the daily time frame the structure range we marked out on the daily time frame is a range structure for the weekly time frame you can see it here the structure range we marked out on the daily time frame is a range structure for the weekly time frame this is our normal structure range on the weekly time frame this is our normal structure range. This is the normal structure range on the weekly time frame. What we marked out here on the daily time frame, you can see it here, is, is a range structure. This is a range structure for the weekly time frame. So if we break this eye, if we break this eye, we are not expecting the market to just change movements like that if we break this eye we are expecting the market to come into our internal structure to continue the move to the downside so when you see this break when you see the market break this particular high on the daily time frame you are not counting it as your major break of structure to start looking for buys 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 no you are not counting that as your major break of structure to be looking out for buys you are counting it as a range structure break you are counting it as a range structure break so that we can come into our internal structure for the weekly time frame you can see this is our last structure range break on the weekly time frame what we marked out on the daily time frame is a range structure for the weekly structure range and you can see we have this movement this internal movement this is the internal movement market did not come back into the internal movement to continue to the downside markets as as has not entered into our internal structure market has not entered into our internal structure at all to continue a movement to the downside so we are still in a proper downtrend even if market breaks this eye we are still in a proper downtrend if the market breaks this eye. But if the market comes back to break this eye, then we know we have a shift of structure totally from downtrend. If the market breaks this eye, we know that we have a shift of structure totally from the downtrend. But market breaking this eye, we are still in a downtrend, but we are going for a deep corrective wave into our internal structure for the weekly time frame so whenever you see a break of structure on the daily time frame come back to your weekly time frame mark out your structure range so that you can verify if that is a true break of structure if that is a true break of structure so the markets will eventually do something like this then continue to the downside now, a lot of people counting this, this as break of structure will be looking out for buys. Okay? They will be looking out for buys to take this eye. Whereas, the market did not change structure from being bearish. The market has not changed structure from being bearish. The market is still bearish, but we want to have a deep corrective wave so that we can go into our internal structure. 
all right guys i hope you've learned something if you have a question kindly drop it in the comment section and then i'm going to reply all the questions i'm going to answer all the questions drop a comment in the comment section if you have a question okay and i'm going to see you guys in the next video uh keep living in the atmosphere of profits see you guys in the next video bye guys